DC Rice here and thanks for checking in with us for the Brunswick High football preview. We had a chance to catch up with coach Pat Foster and a couple of his players to break down their season for us. Uh, you know, last year we had kind of a disappointing season. We uh, ended up three and seven, but this year we've added some added, uh, some special additions to the team and I think we've worked a lot harder this off season. We've got getting a lot better, getting stronger and faster. And I think this season is going to be uh, uh, a pleasant surprise for us. We're going to be a young team, but we got a lot of starter, starters that came back from last year. And I think we've much improved since last year already. We're excited about it right now. Kids have been working awfully hard this summer. We have a lot coming back on both sides of the ball, and uh, we're, we're excited to get going right now. We're ready to get through the summer as fast as we can and uh, get this thing going. Well, like I said, we've got a lot of guys coming back, and we're excited to see them on the field again. They now are learned the last year was a learning year for them in the system. This year is the next step in uh, being able to expand on some things that we did, being able to open things up a little bit more, and just our knowledge level is greater right now. We're way ahead of where we've been, and like I said, we're excited about it, and we're ready to get going. Middletown every year, Middletown every year. And uh, hopefully we can... Uh we can put up a fight and hopefully dethrone the uh, defending state championships, Catoctin. They, uh, they put up a, a large number on us last year, but I think we can definitely fight back against them this year. First game, Poolsville, and then, you know, a rival Middletown. And then last game of the season with Catoctin. It's always been a big game. They've been, they beat us, you know, for 30 years, and we've only beat them a couple of times. So it's always a big game, you know, go out there and try to win, you know, be that fifth win in 30 years. Well, Poolsville is always a big game and to, you know, to get off with a good good win in the first week is going to be very important to us. Uh, you know, we're looking for, we're third year program right now as far as building and we're looking for this to be a turnaround year for us and to take that next step in the program and getting that first one's going to be huge. Uh, Boonesboro is always a big game for us and that's a, been a mental block a little bit for us too that we need to get through them right now. So those two right now I'm looking at as, as being real big. They've been really good and uh, we've been trying to catch up to them in the last few years and, uh, you know, They've got a really uh, strong established program and that's what we're trying to build and it's been, uh, you know, they've kind of put some lumps on us the last few years and we've, you know, we're mentally, we've got to get caught up a little bit. Heart. It's all, it's all about the heart. You know, you got you to gotta dig deep and find what you can in that fourth quarter and uh, win every game and, you know, really dig deep and find what's inside of you to, uh, you know, love the game, play football and win games. Injuries. People, you stay healthy, stay lifting, stay conditioned. Stay out of trouble. Just pretty much stay away from you know all the bad stuff and be healthy. Uh, us staying healthy, a little bit of luck. Uh, staying healthy and probably a six-win season. I think we have a chance to do that, but uh, we've we've got a we don't have a lot of numbers, don't have a lot of depth, but the kids that we have are pretty talented. And if we can stay healthy through the course of the year, I think we've got a great shot at making a playoff run. And uh, I don't want to leave out Brunswick. Uh... Where the railroaders look like this year? Well, I think Brunswick has one of the biggest quarterbacks in the state, in Ian Fisher, who's six <laughs> six, and uh, Pat Foster. He, t he told me he was 255 pounds the other day, which is about 20 to 30 more than last year. So um, he's a kid that's really getting some D1 looks. Uh, he and Foster were out in Oregon over the summer uh, attending a Nike uh, quarterback elite camp. Um, so so Fisher's the guy to watch. Big kid, strong arm. And Brunswick's got some skill players too, and Tyrus Lawson back, CJ Shankel. So uh, they'll be a fun team to watch to see how uh, Fisher kind of distributes the ball and, and gets their offense going. Yeah, and to add, to add, to add on to Fisher's situation, at 6'6", 255, he might start projecting at a position other than quarterback. Some schools are actually uh, interested in him as a possible tight end. So um, I know Pat Fisher is going to experiment a little bit with Fisher, so don't be surprised if you, if you see him line up in a position other than quarterback for a couple snaps just to get a feel for the game from a different angle. And uh, Foster is a... Uh, uh throwing coach. He, like, he likes the, the passing offenses. And this is his third season at Brunswick, so maybe he feels the offense is finally, his system is finally taking root and the, and the players uh, can really uh, excel in it. And keep in mind, Brunswick's a really young team. They only have seven to eight seniors on the roster right now, and a lot of these kids played last year.